Eight. I'm hanging out today with my buddy Kevin, and we're talking about can we control the weather? And so Kevin's kind of an expert in this, and so Kevin, can we control the weather? I don't think we can control the weather. I think we can impact how the weather is delivered to us. You know, maybe we should do better with our um, you know, greenhouse gases, etc. But I don't think we can control it. I think we can influence it and Mother Nature then responds. Okay. Could we, you know, and I've certainly heard this before, seeding the clouds, right? Could we seed the clouds and like, hey, you know, like in the areas that, you know, maybe there's droughts, could we seed the clouds so that, uh, you know, this drought areas don't have, you know, can have some more water? I think we've tried. I don't know if we believe that it is beneficial and then what are the drawbacks right so if you move moisture into clouds into areas that need the moisture does that take away from you know other areas that maybe that moisture was destined for yeah. so you know Kevin brings up a good point right so Kevin's point here is that if um, if we try to see like hey we want to seed the clouds so we get snow here what's going to happen is it's going to affect something someplace else that's going to make someplace else drier right yeah potentially and and that is the question right if you take from one place and give it to somewhere else then why did they get water when someone else didn't get water or why did they lose their water um, i think it's also you know similar to the way that the irrigation and and the things work in central oregon for the farmers Right, water is precious, whether it comes from the sky or whether it is in the ground, and the farmers use it. And you know, it's not always a democratic process on who gets what water where. And so, I feel like the same thing could be said for seeding the clouds: is if you seed for someone else, why not someone else? If, when, for someone else, and you know, what does it do to the others who are losing their moisture? Yeah. What I mean, you know, and we, we we hear this all the time about climate change, and outside of changing our uh, the way that we uh, emit greenhouse gases, is there anything else that we can do to kind of to stabilize our climate? I think there's a lot of people who believe that we could do better in terms of the aerosols that we use or whether it's, you know, uh, the methane gases that come from livestock and feedlots. I think we all have a responsibility to just do better whether you agree or disagree with climate change whether or not it's yours or you feel empowered or afraid like we can all do better so instead of walking or sorry instead of driving somewhere that you could walk once a week just walk right or ride your bike you know the electric bikes have been an incredible enabler for people to get out of their cars but still make that three mile ride you know to the grocery store to get a bag of potatoes or whatever but I think whether we could walk more drive less um, there's always things that we can each do and we don't have to get wrapped up in the politics or the religion of of all the climate change but we could do better yeah we could all agree yeah all right well hey I appreciate Kevin I appreciate your inputs and uh, there you go now you've got the experts right here telling us uh, you know that we probably could control the weather but probably not a wise idea Agreed. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay.